So guys, I am BS touch. You have to set 255 for 40 pixels and hit that OK button. And boom, you are in. You got this blank sheet type of thingy. What you have to do after that is just have to get the uh, banner template. It is going to look something like this. This is the banner template. I will leave a link in the description. After that, you just have to click right up there, right up top, something like that, and show a pointer. And when you're done with that, you're going to get something like mouse. And after, as if you don't know, these two bar indicates what is gonna shown in the mobile. If someone open your channel out from mobile, this only things is gonna shown, and rest is gonna shown only on TV, computer, and laptop. So make sure you put in important information uh, under these two bars. So make sure you just remember that if you don't know. And after you're done with that, what you have to do is you just have to get back to your empty layer and fill and make sure you fill this color you can fill any color by the way but make sure you put it to 200 degrees something like that any current but make sure you put it at 200 degrees because those is good colors so after that you have to go you have to go into gradient and what you have to do is you just have to set this gradient make it upside down something like that try to set it more like lightly something like that and when you're done with that what you have to do is you just have to click on that tick mark when you feel it is right and boom you just have to click that tick mark after that make sure you go to brightness and contrast increase some brightness like 14 to 13 and after that, increase contrast as well to like like 20 40 you can do anything whatever you like and after that, what you have to do is you just have to got a screenshot of your own channel videos so i write up here got a four screenshot of Rao's channel what you have to do is you just have to take a screenshot of your videos and after i go and transfer them make sure you make them a bit smaller something like that and make sure you start from bottom layer after that above layer and transfer make it a bit smaller that's too small i guess but make sure you uh, you cover the title of the videos you don't want to show titles so make sure you just cover them all but that's your preference i prefer covering titles and showing only thumbnails something like that when you're done with that this is the last one you can take as much screenshot as you want and i only shown like four so when you're done with that you just have to merge them all down something like that by clicking that overlay type of thingy button then merge 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 so when you're done it is gonna look something like that and you just have to go into transfer and transfer it something like that and make it big and after i rotate it something like that and hit that ok button after i go right up there right up there yes and make it black and white and after you can lower the opacity if you want but i prefer going to overlay blending option over there and then lowering the opacity is gonna make it very very awesome and when you're done with that i recommend you go and download a pack called hufsi's pack i'll leave a link in the description i'm gonna use two to three things that was in hufsi's pack but if you don't want to download whole pack and only want to use things that i use i will leave i will leave a pack in the description for you can download everything that i use in the video but make sure you download hufsi's pack because it is actually a nice pack so it's right up there uh, all the things that i'm now going to use is from hufsi's pack so if we go right over these all stocks as from Hufsi's pack so make sure you download that but i will leave links of this as these pictures only of, as well because a lot of people don't want to download the whole pack and so yeah you just have to set something like that from now you can customize your own banner how you want i'm just going to put something like that and it just feels nice to me and yeah this thing let me make it bigger now i feel nice i think and hit that okay but after i have to go is i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to eraser tool something like here and make sure you put your brush opacity at uh hardness at zero and size at 200 full and after i remove i'm gonna remove this this zone feel good and this looks nice and after i'm gonna add more stuff from hefsy's pack and i like uh, let's use this thing right up there and uh, let's put something like here this looks nice just put something like that and after what you have to do is you just have to go to blending option normal to light and after that you have to have a razor as i told you i'm gonna remove this as well because that doesn't match the background so bar if i move it something like that it looks nice when you're done with that what you have to do is i'm gonna add more stuff like i'm just adding as much stuff as i want i'm gonna add this one 
looks bad so just make it a bit bigger set it right up there blending option put it like so this is pretty much done i use this grunge background as well i will leave a link in the description of this as well you just have to set something like that go to blending option put it to overlay and i'm gonna decrease the opacity i will leave a link of everything in the description i'm saying again because a lot of people want to tell you how i'm getting all this but don't worry about anything so after that, now i'm gonna get uh, i'm gonna go make an empty layer and make sure you are on a paint tool and after that as you do with the razor hardness zero and after every make sure you have white color and then do something like this and boom 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 when you're done with that it's gonna look something like that after that what you have to do is you just have to go to fx and blur and blur it as much as you want i'm gonna do like 40 and after that what you have to do is you just have to go to blending option and put it on overlay it's gonna look really, really nice as you guys can see so when you're done with that it's time you can like add more like grunge, uh, your grunges and pictures if you want but i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to and gradient and i'm gonna add this gradient and after again and gradient i'm gonna add this one and after every have to do is you just have to put this is a kind of light from the top it looks very really nice after every have to do is you just have to like i'm gonna decrease the opacity of this one background so when you're done with that i think it's feel good you can add more stuff if you want i'm gonna add text now to this and uh, i have text right up here if you don't know how to get good font text and all you can go and grab that from uh, pixel lab that's really, really nice app leave a link in the description you can know my four pack to get all the fonts that i normally use and when you're done with that it's gonna look something like this this is the font i don't know font actually i just forget i think it is i don't know so just set something like that any font that you like select pixels and when you're done with that what you have to do is you just have to go to grunge select this make it upside down again something like that and when you're done with that it's gonna look something like that just don't put too much this looks nice hit that tick mark right up there and after that it's actually going to be really nice after that i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go and fill and stroke make sure you go to stroke and hit tick mark when you feel nice i'm gonna put one and then i'm gonna hit tick and after i'm gonna clear everything oops you just have to extract everything when you're done with that it's gonna look something like that and uh, as you guys can see it is very thin black stroke so when you're done with that what you have to do is you just have to go into fx tool and um, just drop shadow make distance zero blur 20 to 21 percent and it's gonna look really nice your banner is officially ready you can add more stuff if you want and as much stuff you want I hope you guys like this tutorial. This is a very professional clean style of panel. A lot of people gonna use it. I know that because this is really, really nice. I hope you guys liked it. If you guys enjoy this video, please leave a like and comment down below if you have any question in your mind. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And my name is Manik and I'm